These are the Sentry S E N T R Y the H 1000s. Some beast headphones, especially for all needs. These are the Koss Pro DJ 100s, K O S S Koss Pro DJ 100s. Professional studio sound engineering headphones and I use them on a daily basis just for engineering and uh, get that perfect sound and mix and stuff for bit rate and testing and stuff like that. You can check these headphones on um, headfightwork.com where a lot of headphone fanatics go or test them out. Go to test uh, or it's just strict reviews on uh, Amazon or whatever. But there's some beast headphones for uh, all everyone's needs. Perfect sounding, gold plated, really thick cable. Oh yeah, I forgot on the Sentry, the cord comes off so you can always replace with another one. These are more of full function headphone for PC and stuff. It does come with a boom mic. So you can put a boom mic in there, or you can swipe another boom mic and get another boom mic. Put one in there, just standard. But um, these are the Beast headphones right here, or my Pioneer SEA 1000. These are some Beast open back headphones. They will leak, but they give you more of a sound theater experience compared to all these headphones. Not even any of these headphones here on this. Well, just these alone sound kind of to these. Like, there's really no comparison, but they do have their own different sound. And these two are here today. If I had to put a third one, these. Fostex. The TX1s. Those are the third best for just sound engineering and want that rich detail and all and good sound stage and stuff these are the second but these like under budget you can get these really cheap some massive sound for gaming and every gaming needs and all and just that sound and for movie watching the, the sound these are just mind blown words can't subscribe so get yourself a pair if you decide you want to get a pair of these they look cool Another big and bulky 50M drivers, I think that's what they have. But they're just beast. Sound words can't describe. These are okay. They don't come near these at all. To get these to sound what these well, you can kind of get them to sound like my pioneer on these uh Panasonic RPHTF 890s. Is your headphones? You gotta use a FIO E11, which I have, which I don't really have the time to use it, or a 09K, or get yourself a really good amp. Um, eBay it or research it or whatever, or go to headphoneworks.com. What's the best headphone amps? Or just research on Amazon or YouTube videos. But these could come close, but you ain't gonna get the full depth sound. You get these do get a little bassy and. Ruins the mids a little bit, but I say in every headphone video or whatever. Well, I didn't say into all my headphone videos, just some. When you go for bass and you're a bass head like I am, I know I'm a clarity bass head, treble freak, or and all that nonsense. When you go in for a bass head headphone, bass line of headphones, just say goodbye to your mids. Take them out of the words of the video or whatever you're going to make. Because the clarity is not going to be there. The highs will be okay sometimes. Now these are some basic headphones right here. These are my Marathon. Can't remember the model number, the model number right now. But just look up Marathons and look up this. I don't know they're the they're the I can't remember the one two thousands I think 
just look at marathons and you'll see these ones. They kind of look like the Pioneer SC, the Pioneer uh, HD 1000. I mean, they kind of, but these things are basey. They're a 55M driver. These things are basey for any base fanatic needs in that kind of region. You'll be amazed under budget. And here's my um, Fostex TX1s. They got some of the best mid-range on these headphones, if you're into mid-range. Other than that, I don't know what to say. But they're really good. And uh, these Nakamachis NK2000s are okay. And these uh, Nakamachis NK780s and M780Ms. 78, 780Ms. These are bassy. These are bassy, but cleaner bassy. Where you can actually tell in your music how good it is. These are just like your Dr. Dre beats kind of thing. Movable cable and all. Which I'll get to that later. Put it back in. And these are the uh, Bluvio RA tracks headphones. Some of the best Bluetooth wireless headphones you can get. You can put your own uh, music onto a um, SD card. And you can put it in there, which I'm not going to do. But you can just research it. Best Bluetooth, really bassy because of the way they made them for the 55 driver. Not only the, the 50 amp. <coughs> Excuse me. The 50 amp driver is for the bass driver. And they got these like little surround sound speaker drivers they use. I think they're 13 amp drivers they put in for the sound. And these are amazing for bass heads on that kind of level. Sorry about my uh, cough. And these are just perfect for all functions and gaming and your nerds and stuff like that. Everyone's needs for gaming and all. You know, once that sound for their gaming, perfect. Under budget. Professional, under budget. Awesome. Under budget, like the best out of all these headphones here. These are the best. For all the needs for fanatics that are just craving for fidelity and stuff like that. You just you get a sound easy. You haven't heard from any headphone. Trust me. Even I put these to more expensive headphones that don't even come close to the sound these produce. You don't really need to put an amp to these, they just sound perfect. Try out Natasha Benfield. These are or uh, Elton John Sacrifice. Uh, Natasha Benfield Unridden, a song, use these headphones, or Sean Mullins Rockabye, Lobby, whatever the song is, you can hear each individual instrument and stuff like that, or Junie, Always, a song, or stuff like that. But uh, enough said, these and these are my to go everyday choice headphones, these are my second for clarity and all that kind of, for bass heads, these and these. I'm going to have to get a new pair. These are just my running, uh, going to gym and stuff like that. But they're good for bass. And these are good for gaming and stuff like that. For under budget. But I mostly use these for computer gaming and everything. So, and the Cost Pro DJ 100s are just professional in their own way. And these are professional in their own way. But give all these headphones or whatever headphones out try and just on a basis when I don't want to wear a headphone I go with the new earbuds that came with my Galaxy S5 These Galaxies the one with the flatter cable are amazing The way they sound it is just crazy They kind of almost come close to my cost pro digital hundreds, but not really They are bassy, but words can't describe uh, enough said about all these headphones. Sorry, I cough or whatever in the video. But, um, just gonna have to go with what you prefer and what you like, and always research before you buy headphones because I don't want anyone to make a bad buy or get ripped out of people trying to sell you or whatever or con you.
But uh, this is just a video of all my headphones and an up-to-date video. And just giving you an idea and advice and always research ahead of time from Headfire.org or whatever. And <clears throat> again, these are the Sentry H1000s. Very cool. Multi-function phone. It comes with a boom mic. You can always upgrade to stuff if you want. Um, professional headphones for mixing and everything. These will definitely help any beginner or amateur to get out there for DJing or whatever. Uh, there's, a, there's the Cost Pro DJ 100s. These are the Pioneer SCA 1000s. Beast headphones for every need, trust me. These are somewhat okay on these uh, Panasonic RPHTF. Eight nineties. Sorry, my focus. And these um marathon. I can't remember the model number, but they're the one thousand one thousand two hundred something. I can't remember. Just look them up. You'll find. You see this? Look right here, and, and that'll be the model number or whatever. I can't remember what they are from the top of my head, but they are by Marathon. They look like the Pioneer headphones. These are the Fostex, the TX1. These are some beast headphones. These are somewhat okay. Buy it out, came or deal, and buy it out, came or deal headphones here. And these are some beast headphones for if you don't know, like using a cord and stuff, which you can use one, but the, the way this functions is built in EQ and your SD card you can put music on to and use a MP3 player inside, which I don't know how they work that. But, um,. Out of all the day of these headphones, I always pick these as my first, my second, and my third. And for bass, these are my favorite, and these are my favorite. These are my third favorite for bass on the go. Or sometimes these. And these are just these for gaming. But, um... Engineering beast, everyday use, and for anything I put them to, beast. The sound is just like movie theater experience. Some somewhat with these two, and these, but um, you can actually with these if you want that bass kind of movie theater experience, uh, rumbling, whatever. Yeah, or the uh, Blue Dios, R A tracks. But yeah, enough said of all these headphones or any kind of headphone you decide to des desire and get in. Um, always research and uh, make sure you do the head of the game and don't get connived or whatever. But other people trying to sell you something that they think is better or you get this or that opinion from some headphone on YouTube. Which some people don't know what they're talking about or nonsense. Which I don't want anyone to make a bad buy or whatever at the end of the day. But um, enough said. Like, subscribe. Much more latest and greatest.